Domestic violence and sexual assault among women is a huge problem not only in the United States but globally as well. One out of every three women have experienced some form of domestic violence and or sexual assault in their lifetime. The root of the problem comes from the overaggression and alpha dominance that men possess. In Christina Alcada's article, Why Would You Marry a Serrana? She talks about the impact that domestic violence has on Serrana women in Lima, Peru. A Serrana is defined as a woman of indigenous descent who are seen as racially inferior in society. Serrana women can be found in rural areas. Serrana women are more often looked at to be more vulnerable to domestic violence than other social groups because of their social status in society. Furthermore, women are seen as targets of domestic violence in the home because of their gender. Violence against women traced back to patriarchal structures where men are seen as a dominant figure in the household. A woman's role in the family was to take care of the children, cook, and clean the house. If a woman ever left the home, it was a sign of disrespect as well as maybe high, trying to have sexual relations with other men. I am from Mexico. I mean, in Mexico, men have more power than women because in, the, in all the houses, men are always the ones that take the decisions about what the family should do. And there is also a stereotype where women are supposed to be in the kitchen and take care of the children, while men are the ones that uh, go to get a job and get the money for the family. In the book Vita, Life in a Zone of Social Abandonment, Author Zhao Biel introduces Katerina, a member of Vita. Katerina portrays a person who loves to express herself through writing in her dictionary. Many days she spends writing things that are dear to her heart. One of the main things that she writes about is her health condition, where she has difficulty walking. Throughout her life, Katerina's health has always been a topic of discussion. Biel quotes, Katerina said her husband was jealous of her, and that's why he left her. He wanted her to stay in the wheelchair so he could do whatever he wanted to her. This attitude of doing whatever he wants to her is a trait that men possess to assert their dominance over women and treat them like they are puppets. I haven't lived this situation, but I know people that uh, have problems in the family because men hit their women, their wives, and these persons cannot avoid all of these things and they cannot leave their, ho their homes because they don't have a job since men are the ones that are supposed to bring all the money. In the article, The Intimacies of Power, Rethinking Violence and Affinity in the Bolivian Andes, author Krista E. Van Fleet points out how domestic violence and sexual assault comes from kinship relationships within the home. Krista believes that domestic violence is a negative culture in Latin America and it continues to grow every year. Furthermore, Van Fleet states, analyzing domestic violence in terms of the complexities of kinship, particularly affinal relationships, in societies organized by kinship marriage is an arena in which relationships of inequality such as sexuality, ethnicity, gender, age, and class mutually constitute each other. All of these topics are branches of reason why women are sexually assaulted. One of the differences that I have noticed about sexual assault in the United States compared to Mexico is that since this culture is more liberal, uh, I think that girls don't take care don't take as much care as they should compared to the way we do it in Mexico. I was raised um, with my mom always telling me that I should take care of myself, I shouldn't walk in night by myself or get a lot of alcohol and then no one will take care of me. And I'm, I don't know how the culture works here in America, but I have noticed that most of the girls don't actually take that much care of themselves. And this is why we have all these problems of sexual assault and things like that. We obviously have it in Mexico too. And it's obviously a big deal too, but I think that girls are more concerned and like they take more care of themselves in these situations because they have been telling us these things since we are very young. And I'm not sure if they do the same to the girls in the United States and maybe that's what makes the difference. Domestic violence and sexual assault among women are huge problems in our society today. With a positive attitude and putting the right people in the right positions, a change can happen. Remember, if you see something, say something. Some of the differences that I see in the United States and in Mexico is that in here in the United States, uh, women have more boys and there is more women working uh, in whatever they want in, different, in all the different fields. But in Mexico, it's very... Um, you can see that women are always supposed to do these things and even the ones that are supposed to study and the ones that have the chance to get a degree, they, they don't get degrees in things that actually matter and that actually get a lot of money. 
Um, they are just able to study things that will help them to have an education but not really make a difference in the world. Uh, Mexican culture has been this way since a long time and there are, there's a lot of people making efforts to change this but men always want to have the power and this really affects our culture and unless women start to raise their voice and change all these things we're going to stay in the same way. For more information about sexual assault and domestic violence and how to prevent it from happening at SMU, contact 214-768-3333.